Hey guys, it's Coach. Welcome to Coach Cast TV. And uh, unless you've been living on a rock, or under a rock, actually, I think. On a rock, under a rock, in the general vicinity of rocks, perhaps your dwelling is partially constructed out of rock. Um, and by the way, it's, it's hard living near rock. Uh, then you would know that YouTube reaction channels are like all the rage right now. In fact, uh, many of these channels get millions of views and combined, uh, you know, they have an incredible reach all throughout the populace around the world. And today I'm going to tell you the straight truth about YouTube reaction channels. So stay right there. So I had no idea that YouTube reaction channels were even a thing until the fall of 2020. And if you think back about it, uh, the fall of 2020, the world uh, felt like a totally different place than it does now. But in the fall of 2020, we had lockdowns. Uh, everybody was masking up, uh, obviously using hand sanitizer like crazy. Um, and unfortunately, many people all around the world had lost loved ones, friends, co-workers uh, due to the virus. It just didn't feel like a really good place. And in the fall of 2020, my favorite band of all time, ACDC, uh, released a new album. It was the first new album they had released in quite a while. And it was fantastic. Uh, and so... After I listened to it, I was kind of curious what the critical reception of it would be. Uh, it was obviously very positive, but I went out and read uh, some different you know, reviews from different sites. And a day or two after I had done that, uh, YouTube uh, recommended to me a reaction channel that was listening to the new ACDC album, One Song at a Time. And uh, so I watched it and uh, you watched several videos on the channel and really enjoyed it, uh, even though I'm thinking this guy does live uh, under a rock or on a rock if you can make it to adulthood and not know who ACDC is. Uh, but in any case, I really enjoyed it. It was nice to see somebody experience for the very first time a group that uh, you know had been so meaningful throughout my life and provided me with a lot of enjoyment through their music and so of course you watch one and it recommends others and I went down the rabbit hole so to speak of YouTube reaction channels and I will say that some of them didn't really appeal to me I didn't really like their style and that's okay uh, everybody has different opinions different things they like some of them were like crazy over the top, just to the point where it was ridiculous. Others were over the top, but not too much over the top, and it was actually quite enjoyable to watch. Others really didn't have any humor at all, uh, even though I enjoy humor, especially kind of dry humor. But they were just very insightful and very well-spoken, and I personally enjoy, you know, the thinking person's uh, type of critical analysis sometimes and so I enjoyed those types of channels as well and it appeared at times that the people actually had heard the music before because you could you know watch and, and their body language and so forth and they could almost you could tell they had probably heard this song somewhere before a few times I think I even saw that they were uh, kind of mouthing the lyrics a little bit when they shouldn't have known them if it was the first time they'd ever heard the song so but you know what i didn't care i didn't care because i was being entertained and i don't care if it's really their first time ever you know watching one of these videos or not uh, the reason we tune into any video is you know entertainment or education or you know whatever the reason in this case for me it was just entertainment and to kill some time but you know, I watched them react to other groups, and one thing that I noticed pretty quickly was that there was never, ever a negative reaction. Now listen, 
ACDC is my favorite band, and they've got a lot of songs. But they have some songs that are probably at best average songs. They certainly have many incredible songs. But even as big a fan as I am, I can't say that every single thing that I would ever listen to from ACDC, I would say, oh, that's a playlist song for sure. There's times when if I'm not in the right mood and one of those particular songs comes on, I'm going to skip over it because to me, it's, you know, it's an average song. And uh, I think that even if you love a band, you have to admit that every single song they've ever created is probably not the greatest thing since sliced bread. So... Uh, you know, I was kind of hoping that at some point I would just hear somebody say, you know, this is not for me. I don't really care for this. It would seem to me, at least, to be more genuine. But I never really saw that. And I would have been okay. In fact, personally, I would have enjoyed it if I would have heard somebody say, that sucks. I don't like that at all. Um, you know, in today's world, people feel that you can't have different opinions right? It's whether it's politics or religion or even maybe music that you can't have different opinions and people live in their own little echo chamber. They only want to hear news from a certain source. They only want to get any of their entertainment from certain sources. And if you have a different opinion, they're just going to shut you out forever. And I see what these reactors were doing. These reactors wanted to take these huge fan bases like ACDC and convert them over to subscribers to their channel so they'd watch their channel more. Well, guess what? I have no problem with that. In fact, I think that's smart marketing. The problem, though, for me is I didn't feel sometimes that it was genuine. And I kind of wanted to occasionally see the, the alternative view or the negative view. Because, you know, I think that we can all acknowledge if you've got a recording contract, you're making music videos, you are absolutely talented and and a lot of people have recognized that to make you successful as a recording artist so it's not so much that these people are not talented if you don't like their music it's just that their particular art doesn't appeal to you it doesn't speak to you and so you know for me i just felt like you know surely every single song they hear can't possibly be positive so as I got to thinking about it, I thought, you know, this looks like a lot of fun, discovering new music, discovering, you know, whatever it is that you want to react to, whether it's comedy skits or whatever. And the only difference I think that, that I want to incorporate into this channel is that I'm not going to fake it. If I don't like it, I'm going to tell you I don't like it. And if you're a fan of a, a particular band that I'm listening to, whether it's the first time or I've heard, you know, a hundred of their songs... I'm just simply going to say, hey, I don't like that. And I, I might even say, you kids call this music? I mean, I don't know. Get off my lawn. You know what I mean? So at the end of the day, guys, this is going to be a little bit different type of reaction channel. Uh, and Mrs. Coach, I think, will be very honest with you as well. If she doesn't like it, she's not going to pretend she likes it. So when you see a video reaction from us, it's going to be real. We're not going to fake it just to get you to come back. We want you to come back. And if you're a fan of a group and we listen to their first song, we don't like it, that doesn't mean you can't subscribe. doesn't mean you can't stick around. What it means is that particular song didn't appeal to us. We may give them another chance. We may not. But I'm sure if we listen to enough music together or enough comedy together, whatever it might be, we'll come to some common ground somewhere because I believe that music does tend to bring people together and at some point we'll be able to find some common ground of things that we both like. But we do want you to subscribe to the channel. I'm going to do another video, not today, but in the near future to tell you why I think that the music industry is really messing up when it comes to putting copyright strikes on uh, you know, the, the reaction channels, demonetizing these channels, making them take down their videos. They don't do it on every channel, it doesn't appear, but I think it's really, really bad PR for the, for the, uh, for the uh, music industry. And I just want to, uh, you know, basically give my opinion on that before we start doing actual reactions. But we do intend to have some reactions coming up soon. If you've got music, comedy, movie trailers, anything at all like that that you want us to react to, 
drop it in the comments and we will do our best to get to it. Unless it's just something I know or Mrs. Coach knows we don't like already. Uh, or if we've seen it, heard it, we're probably just going to let you know that, hey, we already know that. We love it. Let's move on to the next. And in any case, thanks for tuning in. Also, hop over to our other channel, which I'm going to pop up on the screen there for you, Coach Trex. Coach Trex is our travel channel. And in case you discovered us through CoachCast TV, we'd love for you to head over to Coach Trex as well and uh, take a look at some of our travel adventures. But that'll do it for now. So uh, please like this video, uh, subscribe to the channel, ring that bell so that you know when we post new content and leave us comments. Tell us what you want us to react to. We do read every single comment that you guys post. So we would like to ask you to leave us a comment on this video and uh, let us know what direction you want us to start the channel off in. And uh, we will see you soon here on CoachCast TV.